we are very much privileged to have you all but especially i would like to mention deputy director general research dr peter karwari and uh, regional director and rpd esa dr moses yambi and uh, assistant director general finance dr rajesh agrawal uh, director for smc joana kin potaka and uh, we will be having anthony also very with us very soon and in this meeting director or rpwca has been represented by hile and uh, rp asia is represented by grish chandar because uh, dr sohas wani is on travel and dr tower could not join and we also have the representation from crp crp dcl and rajiv gupta who is a leader for the team genomics and trade discovery but also representing here crp dcl so he has asked for that so we would like to thank all of all of you and especially your all the delegates and uh, representatives who have kindly agreed to join this meeting and to discharge their duties on behalf of their supervisor so thank you very much for coming here and uh, as i mentioned or well peter already mentioned that uh, this is very good to see that we are having the colleagues from the different regions from the different teams so although we say that this is the planning and strategy meeting of rp genetic gains however in my opinion this is not just rp genetic gains rather that we are having the meeting with the scientists who are related to genetic gains and they are coming from the different regions and one of the objective for this meeting is that well how to organize or how to and how we can accelerate or promote or extend in the collaboration of rp genetic gains with the different uh, programs so with this view i will like to mention a few things i will have a few slides because we already have saved peter seven minutes from this first session so i will have more time now to finish <laughs> but anyway so i already mentioned but again in context of this meeting i would like to uh, extend our sincere thanks for ddgr why because he is the basically spear head in this uh, rpgg planning and strategy meeting he gave lot of support and contribution to develop the program so as a result this meeting has really become the global meeting that where we are having that participation from the different programs director general dr david warwickson who will be joining us through skype from seattle and i know that this will be very late in seattle but he has kindly accepted our request and on top of that when i was talk mentioning this thing to him and as we know that he is a big supporter champion of integration of the research throughout the institute and with that uh, basically the final objective of the delivery of science so that we can realize that uh, productivity and enhanced productivity in pharma field so he sent me or he mentioned two things for me to me one is that this is good that this program if you see the program instead of having the presentation we have more time for that sessions of brainstorming or interaction and this came from extensive consultation by ddgr and the theme leaders in our genetic gains program so dg appreciated it very much dg told it will be good idea to have and i would like to just read this thing what he sent to me he said it will be good to have a framework for each session to map out mechanisms for collaboration and coordination in this context again our theme leaders and then i should mention name of pooja patnagar hari upadhyay rajiv gupta emmanuel and uh, many other people including manish and hema and uh, uh, all the other scientists uh, shivali sharma that we have been working for last in, in fact last week that what kind of template we should have so maybe at later stage i will be requesting pooja uh, in the second session that in what format we would like to have that discussion so this is really good because we just don't want to talk rather we would like to have the inputs and suggestions and contribution from the different programs that how rp genetic gains can contribute to other programs because as i mentioned earlier also in on many other occasions in different rp meeting and i always tell my colleagues in my team to rp genetic gains the success of rp genetic gains will not be determined by the number of publications or the impact factor or so this will be determined that how good we have been to deliver our technology or on one step further how good we have been to encourage or to convince the breeders and the different programs to adopt our technology so this is very important this is the reason that our success basically dependent heavily dependent on the regional program so this is very important and this is also important for rp genetic gain scientist managers and staff that they need to work very closely with the scientist of the other program 
Second is that David also mentioned that one. So you need to have this uh, uh, framework so that we can have the good collaboration, coordination, which is needed or basically to map out what is needed from each theme to unlock the full potential of genetic gain to realize increased productivity and profitability. Second point he mentioned that uh, he also suggested us that to look for trades beyond our traditional yield trades. And this should include markets and nutrition. So when we have these brainstorming for the different themes, it will be great that we address all those issues. So, and then I would like to thank regional directors and RPDs who accepted our request and some of you, I know that they were here in RP Asia meeting a few weeks back, but then they kindly encouraged their scientists to participate in planning and strategy meeting. And thanks to Moses that you were here in India two weeks back, because maybe you like biryani in India very much, right? So. This may be one of the reasons, but on top of that, he really wanted to see. And when I sent a mail, he says, Rajiv, I would really want to help you that how RP genetic gains can contribute to RP Asia. So thanks a lot, uh, Moses, and of course, to all the other directors. MG, which includes many of MG, MG members are sitting there that well for their support, including financial support and coming from Rajesh on the recommendation of DG and DDG. So this is great that we could bring all of you here theme leaders and i'm really grateful to the theme leaders of rp genetic gain so this program this thing is not defined by rajiv varshne this is defined by the theme leaders by the team rp genetic gains and we would like to have this important and i always i'm a big supporter of the teamwork that we need to have the team sometimes in team we may have little bit uh, differences of the opinion but in the end after having this extensive discussion we need to reach on a consensus and then we would like to go ahead with this one so thanks guys that you have been very hard working and very and also following the deadlines and also to all the rp genetic gain scientists and also scientists who are contributing to rpgg that when we asked you to send us your work plan you did it very nicely and in very collegial manner because we, we were thinking that some people will have that you did not include me i did not include you all these things but we did not have those issues so this indicates or this is very strong uh, indicator for the teamwork that how we are doing and then collegiality and the respect to each other and in the end i would like to say that the success of this meeting and in the end of the genetic gains is dependent on all of you because and i am really excited to see the enthusiastic and participation and active participation which is going to happen from all of you and in the last i would also like to extend the support or thanks to our program office especially ramakrishna nilesh mishra and Manjula and many other people who have been working on this, developing this program for last several days. And of course, different support units, including HFS, travel and FES, etc., for extending the logistic support. So this was about this background. Let me mention that, and you have seen this slide many times, and DG mentioned that whenever he starts the presentation, he always starts with this slide, which is very important slide for the institute-wide slide. This is not for RP genetic gain. But what I would like to say, the team RP genetic gains have internalized or we are following this framework which says that we strongly believe that all people have a right to nutritious food and better livelihood. We have very clear vision and mission and we, we believe that well through demand driven innovation we dare to do it. Team RP genetic gains would like to follow each following inclusive culture. When I say inclusive doesn't mean that this is just restricted to the border and boundaries of RP genetic gains. This is going across or beyond the border of those RP genetic gain program in the institute. This also includes our partners from Africa, Asia, in, as well as private sector and uh, advanced research institute. We have this culture we are developing and we are always talking in the team and with the scientists, managers, staff. Let's follow we instead of me. And we would like to just not just talking that well, I'm very nice and talking here, but when I go to office, I change completely myself. No, this is not the way. We would like to do this thing, demonstrate a leadership by example, inspiring yourself and others. And of course, strategic and system thinking to change, grow and improve. So this is our framework of RP genetic gains. Many of you may be already aware, but just like to mention the structure and still we are including or doing some omission of some boxes, this will continue, this is a dynamic process. But right now, we are having important themes. We have gene bank, pre-breeding, genomics and trade discovery, forward breeding, cell molecular biology and genetic engineering, seed system. And then we are having one service area called sequencing and informatics service area. 
So with these important themes, we have this RP genetic gains. I will not discuss what we do because we have asked our theme leaders to present an overview that what each theme is doing. But in the end, again, these themes, they are linked, interlinked with each other. And we would like to see their integration across the research program. And here, in context of the objective of this meeting, I think that one of the main objective is to plan and develop strategies for integration of activities of RP genetic gains across other programs and regions. This is one of the important things. That's the reason we have brought scientists from the different regions. And tomorrow you will see we are asking our colleagues from the different regional programs to come up with the plan that well, how RP genetic gains can contribute to their activities. The other important area is that we know that all of us right now, they are having the issue of the funding. We don't have major, uh, well, a considerable amount of funding coming from CRP. But we have lots of challenges in front of us. We have our mission to deliver to that smallholder farmer. So then we need to see in this current scenario, what are the needs right now that including resources, any kind of resources or technological, human, financial, whatever. And then what kind of opportunities we have again? This is not just to RP genetic gains or to a particular theme in RP genetic gains. We would like to do this thing together with all of you so that we can develop a roadmap for RP genetic gains in collaboration with other research programs. In the end, we would like to see this realized genetic gains in farmers' fields in Asia and Sub Saharan Africa. So, because of these reasons, we are having the strong component of this meeting brainstorming by including all of you. So, because I know sometimes when you have the presentation, some of us are shy not to ask the question, but when you have those informal discussions, we will have major, we will have good opportunities to have the uh, interaction. Promote collaboration and integration among scientists to harness synergies for efficient use of resources across the themes. And one of the important uh, thing is the document annual work plans of scientists and their expected outputs for effective monitoring and progress. We already have de developed this work plan and we have put this uh, document. On the website, I provided the links to all those people who have contributed to that one. And we would like to finalize this thing by the end of this month because DDGR has asked me to submit that one. So if we still have some suggestions or and maybe based on this meeting, if we would like to change something, we are very open. So we would like to do that one. So these are the objectives for the meeting. And with this last slide, I would like to close my presentation. I have taken this thing from the Director General's uh, dialogue, which he gave on 11th May. And here, some of you might have seen, but if not, you can see here that, well, this is not working, no problem. So this is, for instance, RP Genetic Gains Program. We are having the different themes here. And uh, we have three different regional programs, Asia, ESA, and WCA, where we have two major themes, crop improvement and integrated crop management. There may be many, but these are the two major themes or two major activities in those regional programs. We have the RP program innovation system for dryland led by Anthony, and he also is having several themes. So DG and we uh, were discussing earlier that, well, how this can contribute. You can see that there are strong linkages of gene bank, for instance, to these things to provide diversity, trait specific lines, pre-breeding. So these things, they provide that one. Genomics and trade discovery have collaboration from the breeding department for phenotyping also from the system analysis of climate smart agriculture. This also feed to gene bank and pre-breeding. When we have these markers, tools, technology, they, the former breeding theme provides those things to the breeding program. Cell molecular biology and genetic engineering brings new technology, new variations. And in the end, the seed system program or theme works very closely with the, not only in the inside the institute, but the private sector with the farmers and different farmers organizations to learn the lessons. What are the lessons we are learning with our existing seed system in the different countries or what kind of roadmaps we can provide that in the end farmers can have access to the improved seeds. In this one, we have the integration of agribusiness innovation platform. So we are having a good framework, but this can happen only when all of us start to work in this direction. And like DG, DDG, and MG, and many other increased in, in leadership, I'm also of very strong opinion and, and uh, uh, optimistic that this is going to happen. Because sometimes when you have the new things, there are a little bit rough edges here and there, but we need to work together. And we need to come out with this strategy that we are working as an institute, in, increased team. Then I think that we can deliver those kind of outputs or expected outputs. So with these things, thank you very much. And I would be very happy to contribute further, but I know this is 